It ain't just Jamie here, so uh, today I've got my hands on a copy of Warhammer Quest Curse City, and this is a uh, game dating back to 2020. I bought it from my favourite uh, gaming shop, miniature, uh, yeah, gaming shop in Red's Car, which is uh, Gaming Figures, and I highly recommend the bloke that owns the shop. It's pretty cool in there, so um, yeah, today I bought myself a copy of this game. And it's just going to be an unboxing video. I know some of my uh, Warhammer unboxing videos are pretty popular. And I'm sure there's still some of you out there who's not actually got a copy of this one yet. So let's crack it open. So before I do that, I'm going to just give you a quick rundown of the game. So I had a brief glimpse of the narrative on the back. And it's pretty much a vampire game. So uh, your little cursed city, as it's named, has been cursed by a vampire. And uh, it's up to your heroes to get rid of the curse. So it's quite a straightforward storyline. And there's around 60 Citadel miniatures in here. Some of these are pretty funky. And if you look at my Blackstone Fortress video, uh, I'm pretty sure that board game was also a Warhammer Quest uh, 2. I'm pretty sure there's also some expansions for this uh, Curse City game too. So let's open this up. So, uh, just a note as well, um, if you're into single player uh, games, you'll notice on this back here, it says uh, for two or more players, not sure if you can see that. Um, if you look at the story here, it will say one to four players, I've actually looked into this and yeah, you can actually play this solo. So at some point, just like Blackstone Fortress, I will get around to playing it rather than painting. So, um, yeah, you know, usual uh, quality of Games Workshop, really nicely presented, nice glossy cover on this. And here we go. So, as usual, we'll have all the miniatures on top. And some of these are pretty chunky miniatures, so they're looking like they're just above your average size of what, around just over an inch tall. So uh, yeah, 60 miniatures and there's 20 uh, cursed zombie type figures in here, which are going to be just generic, more likely just to uh, add more kind of boring figures as the Games Workshop sort of does. You always get your good ones and then you'll get boring ones. <laughs> so yeah, some really cool figures here, like the look at some of these. So, uh, yeah, from what I read of this game, it's looking a lot like Blackstone Fortress, and you've got your heroes, and it's almost like a, a dungeon crawler type game. If you watched my video the other day, my uh, partner bought me the Horus Heresy uh, box set, which I was really grateful for. Uh, you'll see there's lots and lots and lots of figures in that one. Well, not so many in this one. But that's not to say it's a bad set because £100, which is what this cost, isn't too bad considering you get 60 miniatures. So you get your rule book, which I'm going to open in a minute. And there's a little guide there how to um, assemble your miniatures. And then we have what looks like all your tokens for gameplay, so lots going on there. Uh, um, yeah, if you follow my Games Workshop videos, modeling videos, I think you'll realize at this point that I'm more into painting and rather than playing. So, I will get around to playing at some point. I just love painting for now. So, uh, yeah, lots going on here. Looks pretty good stuff. And I'll open this one again in a minute. And you've got all these baggies. So, obviously, once we open up the tokens, just bag them up in these bags. <laughs> And you've also got your cards, so I suppose in gameplay these are going to act as things like weapons and spells, that type of thing, as per usual. Also got reference cards here, which is uh, detailing um, powers, that type of thing, which our heroes are capable of doing. And I suppose that's going to work with uh, the baddies as well, so um, well, we'll see how that works as a solo campaign game. We have here our bases. 
and we have one large base so we've obviously got one big bigger figure than the others and we got all these wonderful dice so we got hex hexagon um dice we got standard six-sided dice and all goodness in here so if you're not really used to games workshop games get used to dice because they're a big part of it just check these out so yeah as usual i'm on the floor because these uh, box sets i get from time to time are pretty substantial and i don't have much space to put them in so i'm going to just open up this rule book so read this first and at this point i've got many things to read first Yeah. So if you're familiar with the Castlevania games, retro games, the storyline of this one kind of reminds me of something like Sympathy of the Night. So introduction. Yeah, and it's just given us the components, which is uh, what's included with this set. So, um, yeah, it's actually a self-contained game, so literally everything you get in this box set is what you need to play. And like I said, there's also expansions for this, I believe, from what I've seen. And here we go, so here are some of our models we're going to be getting in this set. So heroes, so you've got some sort of Knights Templar model just here. and some sort of mage type clone figure. And we got hostile models now. This is likely gonna be, which belongs to the big base, this sort of wolf looking werewolf type thing. And more, and what I was saying just now about 20 um, generic figures, which are kind of similar. Looks like these are the ones, you've got the dead walker zombies. And it also looks like we got Orphan Watch just here, which are also gonna have several of the same type of figure in here. And I've got to say, these uh, Kazargi Night Guards look pretty funky, I like them. So yeah, we're moving on to the combat tutorial. So um, as per usual in these type of games, you're gonna be getting uh, several phases per uh, miniature. So you're gonna likely gonna be starting off with movement, then combat, and then healing, that type of thing. And there we go, attacking with heroes. So, I was explaining to a partner actually the other day how uh, Games Workshop Warhammer game works with the rulers and templates and what actually goes out. Sounds like maps, and I said, uh, sort of is really, but like it's interesting maps. <laughs> So that's it, you know, so uh, beginners to this, if you're an absolute beginner to this type of game, then be warned, they're not easy to pick up. And I think seasoned people, will, like myself, will kind of get a glimpse of how it kind of plays the mechanics. So that's it really. So we've likely gonna now progress on to how the tiles are set up for gameplay. Uh, no, it's still going through the turn phases. Some sort of weird dial here, which I'm not familiar with. Not sure what this is. Looks interesting though. Whoa. So anyway, I think that's about that for the rule book. So I'm sure you get the idea of what that's about. We have here a quest book. Now this is what likely what I was just talking about where um, it's gonna map out how the tile should be placed per um, say you're playing a campaign. So you're gonna have to put out the tiles in certain order for um, say the dungeon, whatever it is you're gonna be going through. So it'll give us a bit of storyline here for the uh, quest, what you're gonna be doing. It looks like it's just gonna give us a little fluff here about backstores, that type of thing. But I'd imagine then, yeah, there you go. So, like most of these type of games, you're going to get the uh, layout of the tiles, how they should be, and where tokens should be placed before starting the game. So, yeah, lots of goodness here. And we have War Scrolls, uh, Age of Sigmar. Oh, right, so that's just advertising um, 
Age of Sigmar War Schools. Some up I've not looked into to be honest, but it's looking like then that uh, this set is actually using Age of Sigmar War School figures, which I wasn't aware of. Uh, this looks like the assembly guide. And whilst I'm talking about assembly guides, um, the Horus Heresy video I did the other day, good gods, those are some real intricate figures, you got to go very careful with those, open them. And finally, whilst I am here, I think I'm going to just open up these tiles to show you. So here we go, so um, what I was just saying about the uh, layouts for the tiles for uh, the campaigns, whatever you're going to be playing in the quests. Uh, these are going to be tokens which just break out and you just lay them down on the tiles where it says. Let's take my camera out a little bit more if I can. That's it, it's a really high quality, glossy, uh, really thick card we got here. I'm not going to open these, but as you can see, they pop out easily. So, yeah, I love these tiles, I absolutely love them. If you're familiar with um, Mansions of Madness, the game, you'll see these are kind of similar to that type of thing. I really, really like that type of grid look. Really cool stuff. So, yeah, almost uh, Victorian. Victorian looking cobble streets here. So, yeah, I think you get the gist of what this game's about by now. And, yeah, Mansions of Madness, I can see very similar things going on here for some reason. And that's about it for this video. So if you're new to this video or you're new to the channel and you're interested in Games Workshop games, check out my other videos. I've got plenty of uh, unboxing videos at this point from Age of Sigmar Dominions to Echoes of Doom, obviously Horus Heresy, which I've been talking about. Uh, I've got a lot of different videos, so be sure to check those out. And thanks for watching. Um, and let me know what you think of this game. If you have played it, let me, let me know. See you later.